All right, so we are working on our very first isometric drawing. And with every one of these, what we need to do is we need to start down in this corner where we have our orthographic drawings. And what we need to do is we need to measure how long each of these are. So from here to here is two and one quarter. Now, what we really wanna know is how many quarters of an inch. So one inch has four quarters, two inches has eight quarters total, and this right here would make nine. So this is nine quarters of an inch long, okay? And we're going to do that for every part of this. So right here to here, that's an inch and a half, so that is six quarters. From here to here, that is three quarters of an inch, so that is three quarters. Same thing for the vertical height. This is one and a quarter, so that would be five quarters. And this last one right here, that's in half inch, so we're gonna call that two quarters. Now, this also transfers to these other views. So this is one inch, this would be four quarters, but this, is, this section from here to here is two, section from here to here is uh, two minus five would be three, or five minus two would be three. Uh, the total height from here to here would be five. Okay, and you can see the same thing. This four would be the same as that. This six is the same as this. It's three, three, this is four, and then the whole length from here to here would be nine. Okay, so you just take a quick look at this, you measure it, uh, and you figure out how many quarters of an inch you're dealing with. Okay. Now, well, the reason we need quarters of an inch is because this unique grid up here, this, each one of these sides of each triangle is a quarter inch. From here to here is one quarter inch. So what we want to do is we want to now transfer these views into this grid. Now, it's important to recognize what this grid really is. You can see that I have this line that's vertical and this line going in that direction, this line going in that direction. Now, you may recall we talked about this being 30 degrees and this right here being 30 degrees. And this vertical line, that is 90 degrees to the horizontal. So if you recall from our drawing, what you're seeing there is this right here, just that spot right there, just the bottom corner of that object. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to make a box that would fully contain this. The box is gonna be nine long, five tall, and four wide. Nine long, five tall, and four wide. Now, starting from this point, my length is gonna go in this direction on that 30 degree angle. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to this point right there. And I'm just gonna put a little dot. I'm gonna take my straight edge and I'm going to, and you're going to need a straight edge for this. This is not sketching. So we use straight edges. So from there to there is nine. Then I want to go vertical. I wanna go vertical five. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, five. Put a small dot there, use my straight edge, and connect there. Okay, right here, I also want to go up five here. One, two, three, four, five. And from here to here, I have a straight edge. And I can also lightly put a line from here to here, okay? So you can see that that is a front it's the front that would be this shape if it continued all the way to there. So what I'm going to do is now I'm gonna draw this right side view using this. It's four wide by five tall. But well, we already did the five tall. Now we need to do the four wide. One, two, three, four. 
four is here. And I can draw from there to there. Okay, that's four wide. And I go up one, two, three, four, five, and there's a point right there. Now you can actually follow this line and see that that is the right because it connects to both this point and that point. So we're going to go ahead and connect the dots. Okay. Now we don't have our top view. So the top view, now a lot of this we're going to erase. Right now we're just sort of building the box that it's going to go into. So I can I can go back nine and I can go over four, but if you look, I can follow this line and right about here is where it crosses this. And so right there, I bet that's my point. Let's see, one, two, three, four. It's the right distance out that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that point right there is exactly where I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in these two lines. Now, this is not the right drawing. This is just the box that encapsulates all of that. If you can picture this right here, this right here as the front, that's what this is. This is also the front. And this right here is the right side. That's what this is. This is the right side. And what we're looking at here is the top. Now you don't have to label these, but if it helps, you may. All right, and that's up here. This is the top view. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to develop this shape into the actual shape that I'm looking for. Now, I'll, you'll notice that this is sort of an L shape. So in, if I look at this, I can picture an L going in this spot. So I can say, okay, this is three forward. Well, in this case, three forward means three in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count one, two, three. That takes me to this point right here. Okay. And then this right here is also three. I can find that here. So this three down, that would be one, two, three. That would take me to this point. So I can actually draw in that new corner. Just like that. And then this is six forward. Well, six forward is going to be six in that direction. Let's check and see if this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. It does. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw that right there. And there is that L shape that I was talking about here. Okay. Well, which means that this corner is not really here. Okay. There's not actually this corner up here. So, and I'm going to draw a little bit more before we erase all of those lines. But so now I can look at the top view or the right side view. Well, when I look at the right side view, I see this, this shape right here. The shape right here, I think it's right here. This goes two up and four back. I think I can go ahead and draw that right now. If I go two up to this point and four back in this direction, there is that rectangle that's down here at the bottom. I can also draw this rectangle in. That would be right, you know, this is this line right here. And I can imagine there would be another line somewhere over here that could make that rectangle. So if I bring this line over the width of four to there, one, two, three, four, and I bring this one also over one, two, three, four to there. You can see that it's starting to form and I can bring this line straight down. Okay, there's that shape. That's this one right here. 
So now, you may have noticed, but this has already formed now. This, this shape right here has already formed here. So that's great. The last one I need is this one right here, and I've got three of the lines already. So all I wanna do is I wanna finish this up by drawing this last line. And there I have it. There's my shape. I just have a couple things I need to erase. And there is the finished isometric drawing of number one.